Anyway, okay. Now, I did send out, I don't know if you've received it, um, the information about the Birkat Amazon, the cards, and also the um, stuff online. I checked to see the, um, the online uh, tracks. My, I don't know if it was my iPad or the site, it sort of stopped occasionally. I don't know if anybody's listened to it, but, um, and she has a much, much, much better voice than I do, but it's a little cantorial. I'll call you in Sydney in one second. So it's a little hard to follow. And it did jump, it stopped a little when I pressed it, it came back. So whatever, just so that be prepared if you listen. Yes, Cindy. I didn't have any problem. With the track. I didn't have any problem with the track stopping, but number the initial um, papers that were sent out were that were labeled track one through ten. My what I had for track five didn't jive with what the track five. Oh, interesting. Had. Okay, because I I didn't listen to all of it. I just listened to the beginning to see how it was. Um, so hopefully it'll help a little bit. Um, it's not meant to be perfect, but this way at least you get a little bit of the the actual word, the pronunciation, and the the tune. Um, she is much more cantorial than most of us are going to be, but at least it gives you the idea. Um, okay, any questions before we get started? I just thought it was very interesting that they had different prayers if you're less than 10 people or even just one person. Mm -hmm. And the yes. invocation mm -hmm. thing kind of threw me a little bit. Yeah, it, well, it's if you're basically asking permission of the people that are there i'm not sure exactly why we don't do well i think we do it sort of a little bit when we start the bar food, it's a little bit of that starting um permission with the doing it we do that yes and exactly you do everything except for those lines in the beginning the responses if you have one person or two people um, if you're in a very from community, it would be one man or two men, but we do people. Um, just and three is uh, when when we do we start that. Ten is when we add Eloheinu. And just as an point and in point of information, there's another one if you have a hundred people. So they, <laughs> I guess it's a different kind of a group. So there's a different different invitations to start. Um, the sheer Hamala that we start with, um, that it starts with, we don't do every day. Um, we do it only when it's a holiday or a special occasion. We do it if it's a wedding also, obviously in a, a bar mitzvah event, if it isn't on Shabbos. Um, our card says um, festivals, including Chol HaMoed, Rosh Chodesh, and other joyous religious occasions. Um, we do it on Yom Ha'atzma'ut also. Uh, so um, that's the first paragraph and the next lines if you have three or more. Um, and then the rest is basically um, everybody does all the time. It does just as a point of information. The card, when the card was sent, um, they're not exactly in order and it does leave out one actually two pages but one you'll notice more this is the if anybody hasn't seen the card this is the front then you open it up and this is page two if it is not Shabbos or Hanukkah or Rosh Kodesh or any of those things you don't open this up but if it is there are other pages and these are not included in the pictures I'm gonna see if I can try to get you copies of this just to have, but those are not included. The, this comes next and then the back page is, is the is final part. So we are going to start. And because oftentimes when we do Birkat Hamazon, it is Shabbos or a festival, even though you, you are supposed to do it anytime you have a meal. Does anybody know what constitutes a meal? And for Birgit Hamazon, I would say, not for nutritionists, not for whatever. Yes, Patty. It has to contain bread. Exactly, exactly. It has to contain bread. Um, there is another bracha that you can say if you haven't eaten bread, um, but we're just going to concentrate on this one. Um, 
they believed that bread was very important, the staff of life. You know, a lot of lot of groups feel that way. My father did. He thought bread should always be on the table. And if it was if it wasn't on the table, it wasn't a meal. So he agreed. So anyway, so this we do and what else do we do if we have bread? Wine. Wine. Fruit. Wine. We do that's right. We do wine for all holidays. Wine is a very important thing, or grape juice. Um, uh, we do that. Um, we do not have to have challah, except on Shabbos and, and Chag. It can be any kind of bread. I don't know if any of you have experienced what I've experienced, but there, it's a sisterhood meeting on a Tuesday night, and they have two challahs. Um, you don't need challah. It just needs to be some kind of bread. Uh, it can even it can be pita, um, and you don't need two because two is because it's Shabbos. So just some kind of bread, um, okay? But we before we when we are going to really sit down to a meal and really make it into a meal, um, we need bread. But before we do bread, we do the blessing to wash our hands. And if you ever been with people that do this, um, usual you're not supposed to talk in between washing your hands and saying the mozi or ha mozi. Ha mozi is the, so you don't say, for you Hebrew scholars out there, all of you, it's not the ha mozi, it's either the mozi or ha mozi, okay? So, because ha is the. So you don't speak in between because the blessing for washing the hands is connected to the mozi. You only do the washing because you're eating bread. So you're supposed to not talk in between. And sometimes it becomes awkward, whatever, but just if you see it, you should know what's happening. Um, not the worst thing in the world, but you should understand what's happening. And then we do mozi, and then after that, the meal is over. We hopefully thank whoever has provided the meal, and then we thank the one who really, who provided everything and that's God. And um, so it's it's the many religions and organizations uh, say a blessing before they eat, which I think is lovely and good, and we do it too. But I think it's easy to forget after we're still full. You know, when we're hungry, we're thinking about being thankful, but after we're full, sometimes we forget. So we have the Birkin Hamazon. I'm going to read the first paragraph, and then we're going to. Uh, the Shir Hamalot first. Um, Shir, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to read it. It is a little hard to read. We're used to singing it. Shir Hamalot Bashuv Adonai et Shivat Zion. If you listen to it, it's hard. When you said when you do that, when you're singing, really it gets put together the the two words. But if you're reading, you can read it distinctly. But normally when you sing it, it will go. Shir Hama, there are two different main two different tunes. I'm going to just sing one of them. Shir Hamalot Peshuv Adonai Et Shivat Zion. See, it's together. It's almost impossible unless you're really stretching it out to say the two. And that's why I said when we're trying to read, we're reading very carefully. But when we sing, or it doesn't get so distinct. Hayinu Kachol Mim. Az Yamale Sakok Pinu Ul Shonenu Rina Az Yomru Bagoyim Higdil Adonai La Asot Im Ela Higdil Adonai La Asot Imanu Ha Yinu Samechim Shuva Donai Et Shivatin Tenu Kaafikim Ba Negev Hazorim Bedima Verina Yikzoru Aloch Yelech Uvaho Nose Meshech Hazara Bo Yavo Verina Nose Alumotav. Okay. Um, also, part of reading this, you, even if you, aside from learning how to do Birkat Amazon, if you're with a group, it helps to read other words that we're not necessarily so familiar with, just to help with our Hebrew reading. So, do I have anybody that wants to volunteer to read a sentence? Thank you, Arlene. Yeah. 
Fear Hama Lot Be Shuv Adonai Et Shivat Sion Hainu Keho Ho Min Keho Min. Perfect, perfect, exactly right. Thank you. Anybody else? Come on, Lynette, you're not, you're unmuted. Does that mean you're going to volunteer? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Oz Yamola Sahok Pienu Ul Shonenu Yedenu. Well, wait, wait. Well, Shonenu is perfect. What's the next word? Rina. Good. Oz. 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 Yamaru. Bagoyim. He deal. I don't La a. Sot. Im. A la. Good. Continue. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Another volunteer, please. I also can hear me, Eileen. Who was? Who'd you call? Eileen, and then jo oh, yeah. Joyce after Eileen. Okay. Hagido, Adonai, la so. No. Ba, 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 ba. Go back again to the first word. Look at the vowels. Hig, oh, hig deal, hig deal. Good, perfect. Good. Hig deal, Adonai, la sot, imanu, hayinu, sim, 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 Perfect. Okay, that's a sentence. I just want to go back one more one. And this is what you helped me learn is it's la asot. Imanu, because it has the meta. It's not Imanu. Okay, just so that, just because I want to reinforce the stuff we've learned. So it's Imanu and it's also Hayinu, because it also has the meta there after, uh, on the next to last syllable. Okay, just to make sure, and I say this for, because Cindy keeps me honest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, Joyce. Uh, Shuva, I think we're up to. Yeah. Good. Shuva. Yeah. No. Are and there any vowels under there? Shuva, Shuva is the first. Hey, new. Now that's the meteg in there. But you left that Adonai, I think, unless I just didn't hear it. It's Shuva Adonai. Oh. Shuva Adonai et. Yes. Shiv Tenu. Perfect. Now, is that a meta under the T sound? Exactly. Exactly. So and we've learned, I think the, these are all the same oh. reason. What? Yeah, the next, usually, yes, the Metex seems to be actually, uh, as far as I've seen, no, that's it, it yeah, that's it, but, but they're all the same, actually, the the grammar looks the same, it's the new ending, so you don't have the Ed's accent on the new, but yeah, but for as long as we see it, and we see it written, we know what it is, okay, okay, so uh, what's the next word after, et shivitenu? So, shivitenu. Good. Ka Pikim. Pikim, right. Ba Negev. Ba Negev. Yeah, Period. exactly. Can we go on? It's up to you. You can ha stop or you can Hazur. continue whatever you want. Hazur. Uh, no, it's a. The dot I'm, is I'm gonna I'm gonna not, I'm gonna it's a, there's a dot on top of the it has, looks like there's a dot Hazur, in it. Hazor. No, it, no, 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 stop. Hazor the dot, 
Has it's Hazori because there's a dot. Joyce, there's a dot on top in the in the letter. The only time it becomes an U is when there's a vav. Then it becomes an U. That dot is for another reason, not for an U. And you can see there's a dot on top, so it's Hazorim. Okay, not U. Uh, thank you, thank you for correcting me. Hazorim. Yeah. Good. Hazorim. Keep going. You have three more. Good. Bar Barina. Good. Yix. Yixaru. Perfect. Yes. You got it. Thank you. You figured it out. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Yixaru. Exactly. One more sentence. Thank you for, for pointing all these things. Thank you for being well, such a great I just, teacher. With this, in the class, the point is to try to do it as well as possible. When you're out there, no one will correct you. But here, the point is to learn. Yes. OK. I need a volunteer for the last line. I see Cindy's hand, and then Andrew's going to go next. Oak, Gay Lake, Uvko, no, Uvko, No Say, Meshech, Hazara. Ko, Yako, no, Yako, no, Yavo, yeah. Yavo. Good. Good. <clears throat> Barina. Good. No, say, Al Alumota. Wait. Perfect. Al Perfect. Alumota. Yes, exactly. You said it correctly the first time. Alumota. <laughs> okay. I'm going to sing it one way hopefully it's a way you know i'm going to ask everybody if you can to be muted but if you can to sing with me i'm going to try to sing slowly um but i'd like but this is really something that you're going to always hear anybody anytime they do this if there's a group of people more than more even two people this part they will sing together they might do some apart silently but this is always out loud Shir Hamaalu, the Shuva Donai, at Shivatzion, a Yenu Kafomim, as Yamale, Sehopinu, Ushonenu, Rina, as Yomru, Vagoyim, Igdila Donai, La Sotimele. Igdila donai la sotimanu ayinu zemechim shuva donai echivitenu ka atikim banegev azorim bedima berina yiktoru alo yela uva ho. No say the shakazara bo yava yava verina. No say alumotav. Practice, um, part of it is that's why, yeah, that's why you have the track. So hopefully they can, uh, and I forget whether she did this one or the other tune already. I forgot. Okay. What, what are they? What is it what? saying? What is it saying in general? Just thank you for the food. Okay. Well, just for for your information, I'm not going to tell you to read the, the. Oh, did yours not? Wait a second. Let me see what came up. Let me see what's here. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Okay. Yes. Oh. In your pic, you have a picture of the English as well as the Hebrew. Okay. You have the transliteration, which I'm asking you not to look at. But you can look at the English. Um, sheer, we should sheer. We know actually because we talk about a song, a shironi. A, uh, that's sheer is a song, and you'll hear it a lot of times. Shiromala, those are the steps of ascent. It was actually the steps to the into the temple. The sheer hamala. We talk about that in other times. Um, and you can you can read it. The most of 
a lot of some of the words you'll know a lot you won't um goyim we know as nations um and whatever there's a bunch of words we know but you can read the english um and then have a general idea if there's any particular words and i know them i'll be happy to share um i don't know each of the words um that's fine i didn't see that here now i see yeah. it on I yeah, see. the English is there. The English is there for all of it. One thing that bothers me about this card, and I don't know why, um, at one point, and I don't remember exactly what it is, um, the transliteration is not on the same page as the Hebrew. But since you're not going to use the transliteration, it doesn't matter. But it bothers me because if somebody is using the translation, they're not going to be in the same place as the other people. So just to note, note that, but you know, it's not relevant to you. Okay. Um, now, the next part is the part that you do only if you have three people. Um, you'll notice it says Rabotai or Chaverai, Nivarech. Rabotai thing is basically gentlemen. Here they say um, yes. Um, so that's why normally when we, it could be Rabotai, the Givirotai, which basically means gentlemen and ladies. But generally speaking, in women's league, in most of the places that I go, they say chaverai, which is friends. Like chaver, um, we know, unfortunately, when Rabin died, the saying was shalom chaver is good, good by a friend. Um, and that was a very popular saying at that time. Um, so we say, um, friends, let us give thanks. Uh, okay. Nevarech is from, what word do you see in there? Nevarech. Look at the Hebrew letters. It says Rabotai Chaverai Nevarech. Somebody's got to see the three. There are three letters in that word that we see a lot, and we've seen a lot in our prayers. That's a hint. Then you have even more of a hint. Take away the first letter. And change the vowels. Baruch. Yay! Yes, 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 yes. That's it. Baruch. That's the 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 um the root. Those three letters. And ne is like is like future. Let us. Na is is let us. Uh, let and then it's okay. So nivarech. Just so you know, the reason I pointed out is just those root words that we're talking about. So you might not know every word, but you know what you're saying. You're blessing God. Okay. So it says, let us give thanks, but it's really let us bless God. Let, let, let us bless. And in the, in the Hebrew, actually, that's what it is. Okay. Um, so, I'm going to read this because it's... Uh, Excuse me? What track are you on? It should be one. Let me look at it. But you know what? I think they're out of order. Wait a second. I kept it on here because I wanted to be able to see it. Let me see. Um, da, 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 da. Oh, I know. Wait. Oh, God. I might say one and okay. Then uh, and then this wait. is the problem. They didn't come out in order. It's the one that says Birkat Hamazon on the top. I think it's the third or the fourth one as it came out, actually. I think it, it's the last one as it came out on your, what happened was I didn't realize with the, um, and if this is the card, I don't know about the tracks. The tracks would be whatever the order is. I don't know how long each track is. So, so I sent, sent you the picture and um, let's see where the other thing is. Birkat Hamazon, let's see. Oh, okay, uh, Shira Malot. Okay, that was Shira Malot. That's um, the invitation. If you're on the tracks where it says, if you're not on the card, if you're on the track, of the the other thing that looks like this, woo, um, you're not on the card. You're on the one that shows a little picture of the book on the top, and it says Shira Malot, track one. I, I thought it was going to come out as tracks. I didn't think it was going to show a picture of it. And I didn't realize that until it actually went. Um, so it's track one was Shir Hamalot. The, the second one, track two, 
was the is the Chavarai Nevarach. And actually, she, whoever used, did this, crossed out the Rabotai and put Chavarai. That's track two, if you're using that one, as opposed to the picture of the card. It's track two. Okay, you see it, Eileen? No. Okay, the email that I sent out, if you have a copy of that, right, Lynette is showing you. If you have a copy of the email that I sent out, Okay, I it, see that. Okay, all right. Oh. Sorry, that's the invitation. I'm sorry. Exactly, exactly. That's what it okay, is, the invitation. Exactly. Thank you. Exactly, exactly. Okay. So anyway, Chavarai Nevarach. I'm going to read all of this and somebody is going to repeat after me. Um, Yehi Shem Adonai Mevarach. Well, let's see. I like it better here. Um, Yehi Shem Adonai Mevarach. May Ata Ba'ad Olam. Okay. When I the person says the uh, says the first line, and you if you read the English, I don't know what it says in here. I think oh, that's the problem. When I that's what I don't want to share screen, but I have to live with the fact that I'm not sharing screen. Um, I the leader says Chavirai Nevarech, and then the Anybody else that's there, which who are the responders, say, Yehi Shem Adonai Mevarech Be'ata Ge'ad Olam. Okay, and again, we have the same root word there. That may the name of the Lord of God um, be blessed um, from now until forever. Olam is either universe or forever, depending on the Goodbye, Cindy. Please wishing you a Shabbat Shalom and a very happy new secular year. And hopefully we'll see you next week. Enjoy. Happy New Year, oh. Cindy. Happy New Year. Yeah. We all wish you a happy new year. It should be a good year. Hopefully next year we won't be, maybe sometime we won't be wearing masks. That would be exciting. Anyway. Um, okay. So, um, so that we naturally know all those words. That's very exciting. Okay. And then after you, everybody says it, all the responders, the leader, whoever that is, repeats it again, repeats what you said. Okay. Yehi shame Adonai Mivarach Me'atabi Adolam and continues with Birshut Haverai. This is actually the, the asking. This is with consent, actually. Birshut. Okay. Um Bershu Khaverai Nevarech Sha'alchalnu Mishalo. Ochel. Does anybody know what that means? Food. Everybody that ate. So everybody that ate should be joining. So that's what it says. We I want to be thankful for the food we ate. Okay. And then we just two more lines and then we'll we'll go back and read more. Baruch Sha'alchalnu. Mishalo Utuvo Chayinu. Um, the others res the, the, respond and the, I repeat it, or the whoever the leader is, and then we say Baruch Hu Um Baruch Shamo. Praised is God, praised is his name. Shame is name. Oh Charlene, I can't talk to you now. One second. Let me just I have my phone because I wanted to okay. Use it to see my papers. Okay. So Who's going to be the leader? I'm going to ask one of you to be the leader, and you're going to do the leader parts. I know one of you is going to be brave and be the leader, and I'm going to be the responder. Arlene volunteered. Good. You're going to be the leader, Arlene, and I'm going to be the I'm going to be the responder. <clears throat> so do we start with? Uh, you're going to Rob, start with Rob, Rob, Rob. Yes. On the top, uh, Rob. Yeah, you're not going to read Rabbi Tai. You either read, you can read both of them, but normally we just read Rabbi Rai. Uh, okay. I don't see that. All right. Uh, Yehi, this one? Yehi. No, you're reading the, above Yehi. Above Yehi. Um, um, you know, I'm sorry, but I don't have it on the track one. Okay, okay. let me look at the track one second. I, I have the tracks here. I do have them here. One second. It says Robotai Nivarek is what yes. it says. Okay. Yes. And then the track goes to Yehi Shame. That's where it goes to. Yehi Shame. Yes. I don't know. 
Bevora me ata the ad olam olam. Okay, now you stop, and I say, uh, oh no, no, I, I was supposed to say Yehi Shem. Sorry, I was okay. so busy looking at the tracks. I say you Yehi Shem, and then you repeat it, which you did, and now you continue with Bershut, Arlene. Um, I'm lost. Bershut. Rapotai. Yes. Nevarek. Good. Good, exactly. Michela. Michela. Lo. Michela. Good, exactly. You, you've got all the words. Just have to be a little bit more fluent, but that's exactly it. It's exactly what it is. Then I say. And you repeat that, what I just said. Good. Good, perfect. That's exactly right. And that's the first part. And that's exactly what it is. And what we do, you just have to... The English tells you what to do. We just when you become more familiar, obviously more comfortable, but it does tell you what to do. Then we're going to read the first paragraph because I'm not going to. We're going to get to that. Okay, so I'm going to read the first. Let's see how long it is. I'm going to read it. You're going to, and then um, we're going to have volunteers. Where Baruch, are we? We're on. Let me see which track, track it is. Three. Track three. Probably. Let me see. I, I got I got to the picture again instead of the tracks. One second. Um, the the yes, reason to track use the three. Track, it's track larger, three. Yeah, it's larger. Track. The track is larger. You could then the yeah. Um, no, that's other. fine. It's track three. It says the group continues. Okay. You see it? Okay. Track three. Exactly. Okay. Baruch Ata Adonai. Eloheinu Mela Haolam Hazan et Haolam Kulo Vituvo Vachain Vachesed Uvrachamim Hu notain Lechem Lechol Basar Ki Laolam Pasto Uvtuvo Agado Tamid Lo Hasa Bara. <laughs> Ata Adonai Hazan et ha kol. Kol is all. And you'll see that a lot in there. It's that's all. All. Okay. Now we're gonna do, we're gonna get we're gonna do this paragraph and then we're gonna do something else. Okay. Do I have a volunteer to start? The first part is really easy, guys. Every one of you can do the first line. Okay, Joyce. And then Andrea. Andrea, you have a red. You're going to next, Andrea. Okay, Joyce. Baruch Achta Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam. Hazon et Hazan. 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 See, I the same thing I did before. Hazan. Exactly. Well, but you'll learn it. That's okay. HaOlam. Ha olam. Perfect, yes. Lo. Yes. Bitu vo. Good, exactly. The chesed. The chesed. The chesed. Yes, exactly. Chamim, Ubrahamim. Perfect, Ubrahamim. Good. Yeah, see, that's no metta. So, mim is the end. It's uvrachamim. 
Yeah, but you were right, exactly right, Chesed, because that the, the you have the metek. We talked about that before. Okay, those are words. Some of those words, you know, obviously we you know the beginning of the blessing, but just but look at it too, because you'll see how those things look when the words you actually really know easily. Um, okay, um, Chesed and Rachem. We talk about Rachamim is. It comes from the word rechem, which was a uterus, um, and it's the female side of God, the the um, the loving kindness. I said rachamim. So that's the, that's what we ask for God to do when on the high holidays. Don't be the judging guide. Be the kind and and God to us because we need it. Okay, now we have who, which is Andrea. Okay, who. <laughs> Natan. No, read it again. What's the second first vowel? No. Yes, no. thank you. No, okay. Who no tan? Tain. Nutain. Two dots. No, tain is give. <coughs> yes. Tain. Leches. Oh but Boy, look I'm at the last thinking. letter is still tricky. <coughs> oh, yes. Lechem. Lechem. Good. Yeah, thank you. Bread. <laughs> yeah. Amotze Lechem. He gives us bread. <coughs> Lechol Basar. Good. Ki o Ola. Look, what's the first letter? <clears throat> Le Olam. Good, good. <laughs> um, ha sto. Perfect. See? You can yeah. do it. <laughs> okay. Do I have another volunteer? Good. Thank you, Lynette. <clears throat> Uh, you're um, Nanette, I think you're reading, and I'm sure it's perfect, but I can't hear you because you're muted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is <that> better? <laughs> yeah, it's much better. Okay. Uv to go, Hagadol, Namid. No, 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 what's the first letter? Wait, wait, wait. Perfect first oh. two words, perfect. Okay, Tamid. Good, exactly. Okay, lo, hazor, hazar. Hazar, it's an S. It's the one that we got confused with, the mem Sophie, the okay. final mem. Okay. Hazar. Hazar. Lanu. Good. Turn the page. Or, yes. Baal, yehazor. Lanu, mazon. What, what, what was that word? Wait, wait, wait. Well, I knew after Mazon. Oh, Mazon. Le'olam. Yeah. Fa'ed. Perfect. Good. Good, good, good. Continue. You want to keep reading? You can if you want to. I'm not going to stop you. Okay. Ba'zavur. No, you, it's Ba'avur. It's not the, it's oh. not the Zion. It's the Ayan. Right. right. You read right. it as both. Okay. <laughs> uh, Avor, yeah. Shibo, Hagadol. Good. Ki, Hu, Zan. Good. Boom, Var, Nev. No, look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Okay. Sound it out. Okay. Boom, Par, Ness. Almost perfect, but hey. it's not a P. Hey. It, it's an F sound, Par. not a P sound, because there's no dot. No dot in the pay, in the fe. F. F. Ufar naif. Ufar naif. Good. Uh, lock hole. Good. Two more words at least. You got to finish the least of the comma. Okay. Um, tiv. Ma a kur. No, start again. You, you, you read umfarne slakol, the next word. 
pa, uh, you're here. in the wrong place here. You're, you, we read, you, go oh, back. Oh, oh, you I read? Okay. Okay. Hamid Lo Asar La Lanu Va'al Yev Sar Lanu Mazon La Olam Va'ed. Good. Okay, she went back far. So if anybody it, was I got lost, twice? I got lost. But it was so good. I was so it was great. That was perfect. Right. Thank you. Twice? Okay, sorry. Okay. <laughs> that's okay. It was perfect. Okay. And you know what? That, what that's we're doing practicing, so it was fine. I was just I took a little time for you to find where we were. Okay. 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 Good. Um, I just want to finish this. So we did um farnes, if anybody's there, la kol umetiv la kol. Okay. Umechin mazon la kol briotav. Do you hear the yud also? Briotav. Asher bara. Who's didn't read yet? I want you to read the last line. Does everybody read? I think everybody read. All right, Patty, read the last line. Starts with Baruch. Since you're in the middle of my screen. We finished, I read, Mechin Mazon Lachol Briotav Asher Barah, the last line. Okay, Baruch Ata Adonai Hat Son, good. It, hachol. Hachol, good. Hachol. Great. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. We're gonna stop with this now. We had a request, and I remembered for the Friday night kiddush, which we did not do, and the prayer for Israel. So next week, I think we'll do that because this one actually, if you really want to learn, you can listen to the tracks, um, and also just. If you have a friend or the rabbi or the cantor or a teacher or anybody else in your shul or in your sisterhood, I'm sure anybody would be more than happy to spend a couple of minutes with you, either it, when you're in shul or on the phone or whatever, practicing this. So please don't be afraid because if, anybody would be really honored to know that you care enough that you want to practice. Okay, so that's the first, the first part of Birkat Amazon. Yeah, Judy, we are going to do... <laughs> I think you're my friend. I think I'm going to have to call you. Anytime. I told you. It's not a big deal. We can spend five or ten minutes on the phone reading. It's not, it, You'll send you know. Us when you, send us your number. <laughs> I did, I think, but I will do it again. In one of the first emails, usually I put my name, uh, email address, and phone number, but I will do it again. I am not afraid. Really, it, it, no big deal. It's not like I have to drive someplace. It's ten minutes of my time. It's more. I'm more than more than happy to do it. I I I, I say that really sincerely. Um, so we, next week we're gonna do we're gonna do the prayer for Israel and or the Friday night kiddush. Does I do I have any request special requests? Because we only have a couple weeks left. So I I, I was wondering. If we yeah. could do Hatikva, every time when I go to a function and they sing oh, Hatikva, okay. um, oh, that's an idea. You know, I'm yeah, I like that idea. Transliteration, but I would really love to participate. Okay. Anybody else? All right. So I'm going to ask for, yes, Patty. Um, Havdalah. Abdullah, oh God, we need to meet more times. So I'm going to have to do this more times. We're gonna, uh, maybe if I te teach again, I'll, I'm going to do those prayers. Um, if I, I when do, I, next I semester. Is there any yeah. way we, how, did you mention how we can get a copy of this laminated uh, trifold? Yes, well, you can get it from there. Women's League. Okay, I went on the website and I couldn't find where on there. Under resources, I think it is. It says publications. 
Okay, okay. It's not so easy to, what happens is like when I put Birkin Hamazon in the search, Google could find it very easily. The website doesn't. So you yeah, have to know where to go. And that's why I found out. That's why I said that you have to go to resources and then under resources you go. And so yeah. that's the that's the secret. You, it doesn't take you straight to where you want to go. But if you know where to, how to get there, you can get there. Got it, yeah. thank you. Good, good, okay. Um, okay, so that I'm going to put this in actually and to remind myself, I am going to teach next semester at the same course again. Um, and um, I will put some of the things that we've talked about that you'd like to do, like Hatik for Havdala and um, Kiddush and Prayer for Israel. We're going to do all those. Okay, hopefully. Uh, anyway, so um, we have a little bit of time. Uh, let's see. I, I, I'm sure I have. A, do, do you have your Cedarim by any chance or not? I do. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure Hatikva is in here. Uh, let's see. Where could it be? Prayers. Oh my! Well, you know what? How, how about half dollar? That's easy. Two ninety nine in the Sim Shalom. The first prayer I found that we were talking about. So we'll just do it. We'll look at it. Two ninety nine in the Sim Shalom. Mom, 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 mom. Let's see if I can get there. Yeah, two ninety nine. And the Sim Shalom and in the other one, I'll look it up in the table of contents. It should be there. Let's see. Uh Amazon. Why can't I find it? Um 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 Two eighty three, Judy. Two eighty three. Thank you. Actually, two eighty. Yeah, two eighty three. Yes, perfect. Two eighty three. In the red book, the left shalom is on two eighty three. So wherever you are, it's in. It's either two ninety nine or two eighty three. So we're in just briefly for a couple of minutes. Um, we're gonna skip to because we only have a couple of minutes. Just the we'll do the first paragraph another time. But what we're going to do is we're just going to do just the paragraphs with the brachot that we do. Okay, since we only have a couple of minutes. So if you'll see, it says in the Lev Shalem, after the big paragraph, it says all recite together and the leader repeats. And then it says raise the cup of wine. Okay, and here it says, um, what does it say in this one? Uh, it says, in a synagogue or public service, we begin here, in the left shalem. Does everybody see it? In the left shalem, it says, um, in a synagogue oh. or public service, we begin here. And in the slim shalom, it says, um, we raise the cup, raise the cup of wine and recite, okay? So I'm going to read from there, and then we're going to, so, somebody volunteer. Tell me which page in slim shalom again? Sim Shalom is on page two eight ninety nine, and it says raise the cup. It's about halfway down the page. It says raise the cup of wine and recite. Okay, so we're going to do the brachot. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Borei. Me, Nick. I, I, actually, I, I skipped. I, I read down. The first one is the is the wine. I, we're going to read this one, and then we'll go back up. I skipped down. My eye went down um, because I didn't see the brook. But Ray, me, name this, I mean, you know, does anybody know what that was? When do we do that? What do we do when we do that? The spices. The spices. That's yep. when we Hopefully smell we the spices. The Exactly. And we sell the size that one of the reasons given for smelling the spices is supposedly we get an extra soul for uh, for um, Shabbat and because when Shabbat is ending, it's going to leave, so we have to revive ourselves. Okay, the line above that, um, it's uh, Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam 
Bore Peri Agafet. Okay, that's the wine. Okay. Um, then I'm gonna have we're gonna read this, but I'm gonna read one more because there's one more thing we do. First we hold up, we don't drink it just like we don't drink the wine on Friday night when we do the break. We got and we drink it at the end. We don't drink it then, but we do hold it up. And then with the Basamim, after we say it, we smell the spices. And then the last one is Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Mela Haolam Bore Maore Ha Esh. So what what's the Esh? Fire. Yes, good fire. fire. The candle. So we use the fire, and most people they you see them looking at their hands. You're supposed to supposedly, I think, looking at your fingernails because the fingernails continue to grow. Even though other things don't grow, your fingernails continue to grow. So you look at the shadow on your fingernails. Yeah, Patty. Yeah, I heard it was you. You look at the reflection of the light on your fingernails. Right, right. That's in the. But they do it on the fingernails because you can see it anywhere. But that's supposedly one of the reasons. And exactly, just it's good. You know. Thank you, Patty. Um, why why we're doing this and what we what exactly we're doing? Because sometimes it's not so clear what's happening. Okay, and then um, yeah, we're gonna. Read those because 958. Do I have a volunteer that wants to read the uh, the wine? You guys, every one of you can do this. You're not going to fool me. Andrea, yeah. you first. Yes. Um, Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Bore Pri Hagapen. Good, perfect. But I really want you to look at it because like when you see the iron and the ha alum, you know what the iron looks like. So when you see it somewhere else, you know it's not a sadi, it's an iron. So please, if you can, you know, when you're in a Abdallah, sometimes you don't even have a book, but if you can look and read it. Great, perfect. Okay, the next one for the spices. Arlene. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu I thought it said a ba bet actually. I'd never heard it as a visami. But it does say visami. Okay. One more the, for the fire. Arlene. Baruch Ata Adonai El Hinu Melakalam Bore Mo-re Ha. Ish. Perfect. Just one one thing, just so you really are exactly perfect since you know how to read it. It's really m-o-ray. Because yeah. it has the two dots, you don't just smish it together. You say m-o-ray, okay? M-o-ray. Mm -hmm. Perfect, perfect. Great, okay? So now you could do the bracha. Obviously, we know, you know, there's stuff before and there's stuff after. We say the difference between this and this and this and this and this and this. And we can do that at another time. But at least we we know that those are the major bracha from the Havdalah because it's 11 o'clock. Um, and we are between, we can say that, oh, by the way, Havdalah, La Havdil is the difference. Okay, the difference between this and that. We're separating for Shabbat from the other six days. We're separating to tonight. We're se tomorrow. We're separating to 2021 from 2022, and hopefully it will be a good 2022. And um, and the Shabbat Shalom to everybody. Shabbat shalom.